بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وكفى وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على عباده الذين اصطفى وبعد إبراهيم عليه السلام had two children one Ismail and the other Ishaq and we know how Ismail came he came from Hajar and then Ishaq he came from his original wife Sarah and there is a gap between Ismail and Ishaq about 10 to 15 years Ismail is older than Ishaq Ismail alayhi salam was in Mecca and Ishaq was with his father in Palestine and Ishaq is the son of Ibrahim the brother of Ismail the difference here Ishaq comes from one mother Ismail comes from another but they're both brothers one is the son of Hajar the other is the son of Sarah Ishaq lived in Palestine where his father was Ishaq alayhi salam lived and Ibrahim alayhi salam and Sarah his mother they lived him to see him he grew up and he was righteous and Allah mentions him in the Quran among the messengers of Allah the devout ones then he had a son named Yaqub alayhi salam Jacob Yaqub alayhi salam also lived to see his grandmother Sarah and his grandfather Ibrahim alayhi salam before they died and here I want something to be very clear because it gives you the understanding of the descendants of all the prophets and messengers. Yaqub is the son of Ishaq, Ishaq is the son of Ibrahim, Ibrahim had Ismail. From Ismail, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa comes and most of the Arab that way. Now Ishaq, he had Yaqub. What's another name for Yaqub? And this is very important for us to understand. Yaqub, his other name is Israel. So this is where Israel comes from. Israel is the name of Yaqub. Yaqub, Israel, they are one person, two names. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that in the Quran Kareem, and he mentioned about Israel referring to Yaqub. Yaqub alayhi salam is also mentioned in the Quran. And they lived in Palestine. Yaqub alayhi salam grew old. And he had two wives in the beginning. He had 10 children from the first wife and two children, two boys from the second wife. The 10 children from the first wife came from the lineage of one of the sons of Noah. And the other ones came from the lineage of the other sons of Noah. The two sons that came from the second wife were better in conduct and righteousness than all the other 10 brothers. They were Benjamin or Benjamin in English and the second one was Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam. So they were brothers from the same mother. The other ten from the other mother. Ishaq, Yaqub, Yaqub 12 children. Those 12 children, they had a lot of offsprings, okay? Until at the time of Musa alayhi salam, there were up to 600,000 of them. Those 12 children are the 12 tribes of Bani Israel. The children of Israel go back to those 12 children. They go back to those 12 in which are the children of Yaqub Israel alayhi salam. And when we say Israel, what's Israel? What's his religion? Muslim is a prophet and a messenger. Those 12 children of Israel, what's their religion? They are Muslims. But later on as time came and they distorted Allah in their religion, majority of them became non-Muslims or majority of them went out of the borders of Islam. Speaking about that, this is where summarizes all, all the prophets and messengers come back to. Ismail alayhi salam, which is branched all the way to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Ishaq from Yaqub, uh, Ishaq, Yaqub, Yaqub branched all is Bani Israel. All the prophets that we'll be speaking about now, most of them, let's, most of them or 90% all come back from, all back from Bani Israel. Most of the prophets that we'll be speaking about, Musa, Isa, um, Harun, Dawood, Sulaiman, they're all from Bani Israel. They come back to that branch. And Ishaq, alayhi salam, he lived in Palestine. He called to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah azza wa jal took his soul in Khalil. Khalil is the same place as Ibrahim alayhi salam passed away and he was buried in the Khalil in Palestine. He was buried in the Khalil in Palestine. Until we meet again, wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad, subhanallahi bihamdihi, subhanakallahumma bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayhi.